Hi crafters, I'm here today with a coupon book I made. Um, this is the cover. I have three flowers and there's a tutorial on my blog that you can learn how to make these flowers. It just says coupons. You open it up and it has a total of eight envelopes that flip open and four tabs that you can write on front and back to label with stores or lists or printable coupons for whatever. This is for a friend of mine. Then you have lined paper and you have two envelopes on either side of these sheets right here with a tab in the middle and then you have more lined paper behind each section so this is the tutorial on how to make this coupon book so just keep watching and it's going to tell you what you need to make this cute little coupon book to make the coupon book you're going to want some sheets of cardstock 8.5 by 11 or 12 by 12 envelopes which measure seven and a quarter by five and a quarter and you're going to need about eight of those some stickers glue tape a ribbon ink scissors and some way to bind it you can use your bind it all or your cinch or even just a hole punch now if your envelopes are white inside like mine you're going to want to cover the white so, you're going to want to cut a sheet of your cardstock down, or any paper, down to 7 and 3 quarters by 7 and 1 quarter. Then you'll take that sheet of cardstock and you'll slide it down into your envelope so it covers all showing white. After you slide it in there, it should look like this, where at the top it is completely no showing on this side and there's no white showing on the inside. You should have a little bit overhanging here. That's okay. We're going to trim that off. Now what you want to do is you want to fold this piece over along this crease. Use a bone folder or something so you get a really crisp fold for the paper inside. After you do that, you're going to remove the paper from here. Put tape or glue all over the back of this yellow sheet and then stick it back inside so it's glued down firmly. Then you will be able to open and fold the envelope. I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Now that you've done this, you should have your envelope and on the outside you should have a little overhanging yellow, a nice fold, and on the inside you should see no white. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors and we're just going to trim right along this line so that you can see just brown on the outside so that when you open it, it has a nice clean cut. So trim that with your scissors. Now that you have the sides of your envelope trimmed, you want to cut a sheet of cardstock that is six inches by seven and a quarter. What you're going to do then is tape the back of your envelope to the top of the sheet of cardstock that you just cut, making it look just like that. So you have some overhanging on the end, but none at the top. So that when you have it, <clears throat> it's going to look like this. Then this is where you will punch your holes to bind the book and it won't interfere with the envelope. So go ahead and tape the back of this to your sheet of cardstock that is six by seven and a quarter. Once you've done that, you should have your six by seven and a quarter sheet, and with one side you should have an envelope taped firmly down, and it should be able to open with paper and slide stuff inside the pocket. Then I took just some brown ink and I went around the edges and the top of the envelope and the side and a little on the inside just to distress it and give it that grungy look. Once, once you have this done, you want to repeat this beginning steps and do the inside of another envelope to go on the back of this sheet. Before you tape down the second envelope you've made, you're going to want to cut a in circle that is two inches all the way around. Then you're going to want to fold that circle exactly in half so that you have a half circle with another tab to tape down. I went ahead and inked the edges of my circle and messed them up a little bit. Now what you're going to do is you go are going to apply tape from here to here on the lower half of the circle without ink, all in the back. Then you are going to tape this tab at the top of your card so that you have a flap. And what you're going to do is on your second set of envelopes, you're going to tape it halfway down and then down here and then down here. So when you're finished, you're going to have four different tabs two sets of those in your thing in your book so that you can label them with different stores or different foods or categories whatever you want so go ahead and make a circle that's two inches ink it up fold it in half and tape it at the top of your 
So once you've got your envelope inked and you have a flap that opens and it's attached to your six by seven and a quarter sheet, what you want to do is you want to take your two inch circle that you've inked and you want to lay it down in the spot of your last circle. So if you have one, two, three, and four done. So as you make these, you want to do that. Then what you're going to do is take your last envelope and you are going to glue it right at the top here to cover that. So when you're finished, you should have these. You should have an envelope that opens with a tab, flip, envelope that opens. And it should be covered right up to that very edge right there. Then you should have a second page with another tab and another six inch sheet of paper under that mounted. And two more envelopes like that. And then one last one. Now, to make your cover, you're gonna wanna cut a piece of chipboard or cardboard to seven and a quarter by six and a quarter. For mine, I just covered it with red paper on both sides, inked around the edges, then added a green mat on the front and a little stickers that say coupons and then I inked around the edges of that and then I went ahead put it in my cinch measured it out for seven inches even though it's seven and a quarter it still works and then you simply punch 12 holes open up your ruler slide it back in there punch your extra hole while you unplug the two and then you have your 13 holes then I cut a strip of wire that is 13 prongs long and I'm just going to bind my book using the cinch. If you don't have the cinch, you can use a hole puncher, tie them with ribbons, you can use the bind it all, any way you want to bind your book. But that's how I made my cover. Now for the back cover, I'm going to do the same thing. Cut another piece of chipboard the same size, cover it in red, and then add like Handmade by Katie on the back or something. Once you have all your envelopes done, you want to cut some sheet of cardstock. I had 12 by 12, so I cut it down to 8.5 by 11 so it'll fit in a printer. Then you want to go to your computer and make a page full of lines. This is what that should look like. There's my computer screen. I just opened Microsoft Word, held down the underlying key, and made it all the way to the bottom. I changed my margins to half an inch by half an inch to save paper. Under margins, and you just change it to narrow. Then, once you have that done, you're just going to hit File, Print, and as many copies as you want to print. And then you're going to use that, and you're going to cut them down to fit in our book. So go ahead and print. I'm printing four of each co color, so I'll have 12. Once you have them printed so they all have lines, you want to go ahead and flip them over and print lines on the back side, so that you should have 12 sheets with lines on front and back. Once you have all these sheets done front and back, you want to go ahead and cut each sheet down to six inches by seven and one quarter. That's going to allow them to fit perfectly in your book. Then, once you have them cut down, I'm going to go ahead and ink my edges with some brown ink. Then, I'm going to put them in my cinch and punch the holes. Then, we're just going to put them in our book where they belong, and I'm going to go ahead and cinch the wire. Then, I'll show you the book. So here's your finished book, ladies. I just binded it with the cinch, and this is my cover. I went ahead and moved my stickers down and added three flowers. Now these flowers, if you want to make some of these, I have a tutorial on my blog, and you can visit it. It's scrappingwithkatie.blogspot.com. Then you flip it over. I haven't sure. I might put pictures or something in the inside. Then we have a little envelope with it's covered inside and inked. And you have a tab here you can label on the front. And on the back you have another envelope. And then you have lined paper, four sheets of that. So you can write your list or whatever you want. Then you have another envelope, another tab. And then you have your papers. Here's your last two envelopes. The paper. And then your last set with all your paper in it. Then your back cover. This